these are the components you're going to need and uh, a few of the tools um, to be able to put together uh, the super easy uh, in, uh, graver first thing we're going to do is we're going to take this uh, foot pedal apart and I'll uh, show you uh, which springs to uh, to remove. I have a piece of timber which I mount this foot pedal on and it just makes it more stable. I rest my heel on the uh, on the, the uh, roundabout there and then I can actually push down once it's fastened on there. But the springs that come with this I find are far too strong. So the way to change them is you push out this piece at the back you unscrew the four screws that are in there I've taken two of them out already and you take this panel off the back and you can see the two springs there so what you need to do is remove those two springs by just pushing this panel back the two things ping out and I'll replace them with two other springs which are much smaller and these are far better I've just got these out of a, um, a, a typical uh, a, assortment of compression springs. So you put these two springs in here put the panel back on OK so now I'm going to uh, screw this back on onto the piece of timber and then push it back in and it's nice and steady and much much easier to uh, to actually uh, control right so I've got a cheap uh, hot melt glue gun here see it's uh, nice and hot it's dribbling the stuff out not very good really but I'm just going to put some uh, hot melt glue on here and stick it to a bit of uh, hard board um, there are screw holes in this so you could screw it if you want to uh, this one will be a bit harder to screw because it's much smaller. I think this will probably do the job just as good. And then I'll just leave that for a while for that to set. <coughs> right, so we've got um, the power supply here. And I've connected this up. Uh, the mains goes over on the right hand side here if you're not competent or confident enough to actually do that yourself get someone else to do it yeah when uh, the cable actually goes in where the cable goes into the box it'll have to have uh, a strain relief on there so that this can't come, pull out because it's mains power and uh, that's obviously uh, could be of concern um, uh, there's the speed controller and this isn't a speed controller um, it's a PWM out it says there on the top it's got RPM but it's not RPM it is in fact the percentage and it's the percentage of power uh, which is actually going to be uh, uh, pushed out to the MOSFET um, on the board here I've glued on the, uh, the UNO and the MOSFET uh, just so that they don't wander about all over the place and you will need some connectors 
these ones are just a little bit big actually uh, you could do with some slightly smaller ones because some of the cables here that are going in are really quite small so the first thing I want to do is connect up these two together um, and we'll put a cable between them um, we've got VV minus and VV plus here and so I want a a plus going to a plus right here. This side is, there's the power uh, and there's the motor. It's not a motor we're driving, it's a solenoid and that's why it's not a speed controller or controller control of the power. So let's pop these in. Get my head out of the shot. So you can see the V minus and the V plus coming out there. And the plus is on the right hand side of this. So then we go in. is the power going to power going to the MOSFET Okay, so this is the uh, the handpiece which I'm using at the moment. Just got it connected in temporarily with a connector, and this is the end of the cable here. And this will go in this side. And it, it, it doesn't actually matter which way around these go. So that's the power side sorted out. <coughs> the right hand side of this, these two pins here are, is the, um, uh, the ground. It's got it marked on there. And that will go into there. And the left hand side is the trigger. And the programming that I've done tells me that this is pin number two. So that's hooked up there. Right. So the next part to do is to um, sort out some wires that will hook up the... speed control or the frequency control <clears throat> so 
So this comes from the foot pedal that we saw earlier on. And I'll connect these up. So the red goes to the 5 volts, the yellow goes to ground, and the green one will go to the A1. There we go. So this has already been programmed. Uh, I'll do another video. I was thinking of doing it onto the uh, end of this one but I think I'll do another video about how to hook up the um, Arduino to the uh, to a computer um, and also how to how to actually go about uploading the program so I'm not going to use the 12 volt supply to power the Arduino because I came across a problem with that I need to investigate why that's happening. Um, so what I'm actually going to do is use a 5 volt. It's just an Amazon, cheap Amazon power. It's a USB. USB here. I'll plug that in. And this I'll hook up to the Arduino and that powers the Arduino and the board comes on and I'll plug in the mains power and we can see that the PWM out is actually working there and this is the uh, controller for that and as you see if I turn it up it can go up to 100% turn it right down at zero now what I'll do is, um, once we've finished with this lot, I'll show you how to wire in the uh, potentiometer uh, foot pedal uh, so that that can actually control this. So, hopefully now, what should happen is that if I put my foot onto the foot pedal, It's very quiet and it is actually going there, so I need to just turn this up. And this will control the power if I put it down to zero. There's no power going through there. You can see that there's the, the, the it's, it's triggering on the board here because as soon as I lift off, it stops triggering. Put it on and it triggers. So if I power that up to say uh, 50%. You see that's firing now. I'll power it up to 100%. You should hear a, hard, a harder hit. Okay. So this is my uh, potentiometer foot pedal. There's a video on the uh, uh, the YouTube video video about what's act, what I've done in, inside that, which is I've taken out all of the gubbins and just wired the uh, the potentiometer straight in there. So this is the potentiometer which it's actually going to replace. I've connected this in with these uh, screw connectors 
I'm going to take that off. And we'll wire this straight in. That goes to red, white goes to yellow. Okay, so plug this back in. I'm currently on zero. If I press this down, gradually goes up to 100. It's not firing at the moment because I haven't got my foot on the other pedal, which I will do. So I've got my foot flat on the other pedal at the moment. Gradually, as I come up with the power. So it's a straight wiring in, remove the potentiometer, wire in the, uh, the M gear uh, uh, foot pedal. You probably could use other potentiometer foot pedals, but uh, this is the only one that I've tried. When you buy your Arduino Uno, <coughs> it comes, or it should come, with a USB connector. These ones are not the standard ones that you'd use on a phone or a camera um, and these are important so you plug that in and then you plug the other end in to your laptop and you will probably have to um, uh, download some um, drivers etc. So I'll show you what I've had to actually do to sort the problem out.